All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the fourth Harry Potter movie in the franchise. I am very excited for this because I had so much fun with the last Harry Potter movie. I thought Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban was so good. It was so top tier. The twist at the end was insanely good. Mm. Lupin, he, he dipped out on us though. So I, I'm guessing I'm guessing we're gonna we're gonna get another teacher of the dark arts for this movie. I hope he's a bro like Lupin. I wish Lupin could have stayed, but his secret kind of got out that he's a werewolf, so he has to go, which sucks. And then in the last movie, Harry and Sirius Black. At the end of the movie, they were talking about it, and he's like, "Harry, come live with me. Fuck your aunt, uncle." And Harry's like, "Yes, hundred percent." But then Sirius is kind of like, "Nah, maybe now is not the time. Maybe we should wait a little bit longer." something like that i don't know i hope because like okay the trend is that like the movie begins with harry at like his aunt and uncle's house i hope he's just with serious black just posted up chilling smoking getting bitches I'm, just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding i'm kidding but i hope he's just living with him now i don't know i'll be hella pissed if he's with his aunt and uncle still <sighs> but anyways I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as early access to the next Harry Potter movie in the franchise will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. All right, wait, you know what I'm gonna do actually? Since, oh, that's sus. Um, since like, you know, the theme of the poster was purple, watch this. boom there we go and you know what in the last movie um lucius malfoy wasn't in it at all voldemort hasn't been in it since hasn't been in the movie since the first movie too so i hope like we get to see either one of them in this movie i kind of have a feeling we'll see voldemort in this now because on the tombstone it showed in the opening shot it said riddle on it and you know we know what voldemort was doing with tom riddle so I just, I just really want to see Voldemort on screen, you know? I know we saw him in the first movie, but, like, that didn't really feel like him, you know? I want to see, like, the Voldemort I have, like, the picture of my head in. Oh. If we were to do it without the boy. No! Oh. The boy is everything. Oh. Yeah, that's, uh, Peter Predigu. Predigu. Who fucking fucked over Harry's parents. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Who the hell is that? So I'm, I'm, yeah, this is a flashback. standing just outside the door. Fuck. So I can give our guest a proper greeting. Oh shit, let's see him. Oh. Oh, all right, Voldemort just waxed that dude. Harry! Oh my God, Harry looks so much older. So does Hermione. When did you get here? Just now, you. No, that was a dream. Okay. Last night. Wake up. Oh my God. Sleep. Come on, Ron. Your mother says breakfast's ready. So that was an interesting flashback. Kind of just looked like a meeting that Voldemort had with Pettigrew before he like actually ran up on Harry's parents or something. I don't know who that was who was watching it or anything. So, but I guess, but that's just the way they're gonna. But <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? Edward? All right. I was not expecting him in this movie. All right. I, whatever his name is, I'm not calling him by his name. I'm calling him Edward. Okay. I'm sorry, but I, I literally have to. I literally have to. But anyway. But yeah, that opening scene was just to introduce Voldemort in this movie. I hope it's not one of those things where it's like... He's kind of just chilling. Like, he's not like the Emperor where he doesn't do shit the entire movie, you know? Like the Emperor in Star Wars and, like, Empire Strikes Back where he's just, like, he's just a boss but he's not doing shit, you know? I hope he, like, actually goes on the field in this movie. Maybe not, but we'll see. <laughs> Let go, kids. What? Like, I, I hope him and uh, Harry have, like, a face-to-face -face moment. I feel like... Like, I feel like it's about time, you know? All right, what the hell was that? All right, that was a weird way to commute. Well, kids, welcome to the Quidditch World Cup. Oh, run it. Run it. Harry's winning. 
Harry's about to be the reason why we win the world, the Quidditch World Cup. I already know it. Harry's gonna put the team on his back. He's gonna have the best performance of his life. Okay, knowing, yeah, knowing Harry Potter, this tent's gonna be huge as fuck on the inside. It's, it's gonna be like a three-story or like two-story house. Excellent. Yeah, see, what the hell? <laughs> I love magic. Mm-hmm. That would be very nice and convenient. Hey, oh, oh yeah, in the last movie, at the very end, Harry got a new broom, too. And it's, I don't know, it was something like the Nimbus 3000, something like that. But it's like the fastest broom in the world. I already know Harry's winning. Oh my god. We're all waxing anyone. Swear. If it rains, you'll be the first to know. Nah, there he is. You know, I take back what I said about wanting to see him in the movie. No need with these people. Do enjoy Bro. yourself, won't you? While you can. I thought you said there's no need. Why'd you do that, huh? Yeah, because you care, because you're insecure. Mm. Oh my god, this is like a stadium that could fill like a million people. Damn, that's actually hella sick. The Bulgarians! The Bulgarians. Who's that? Ooh. It's the best seeker in the world. Mm. Yeah, wait till Harry. Wait till Harry goes pro. Just wait. Wait, you know what I just thought of? Okay, so since other countries have wizards and everything like that, and like their own version of Hogwarts, why don't we all just come together and just absolutely wax Voldemort? Isn't he like the most powerful um, evil wizard in the world? Wouldn't it be best for all of us to collectively come together and just take him out? So he's not a problem anymore? I don't know. It's just a thought. I don't know, but at the same time, I guess it's been so long that like anyone's seen Voldemort. He's just, no one's thinking about him anymore, I guess. He's irrelevant now. Voldemort's finna make his comeback, so... Stop it! It's not the Irish. Hmm. Mm. We've got to get out of here. Oh, shit. Back to the pot everybody, and stick together! Oh, what the hell happened? <laughs> Harry, expect a Patronum, but no, that only works on Dementors. Oh my god. What the fuck? Who the fuck? Is this Voldemort? Like, is Voldemort doing this? Who the hell are these? Hurry! Oh. oh no, he's knocked out. Okay, well I'm guessing whoever that was, they probably came here for Harry. Oh, uh, is that Voldemort with the snake? Oh, that was the dude talking to Voldemort in the very beginning. Okay. Oh, and Harry's literally left behind. Wow. Dude, I th I, you'd think Ron's dad would have came back and grabbed him, you know, but I guess it, was, it just became a fucking free-for-all. Oh, Ron. Ron's here. Oh, yeah. Ron's our day one, bro. Ron is literally our day and Hermione. Day ones. What is that? Mm. Oh, yeah, it definitely is Voldemort. You can hide! Oh, fuck. Stop! That's my son! Mm. Mm. Voldemort? Yep. In the masks. They're his two, aren't they? His followers. Death Eaters. Death Eaters, okay. Um, there was a man. Before. Yeah, where the fuck did he go? Harry. Who? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, just, I barely saw him. I didn't see his face. Yeah, Voldemort letting us know he's making this comeback. A packet of Drubles and a licorice wand. Oh yeah, on whose card, Ron? On whose fucking card? Two pumpkin pasties, please. Ooh. Oh, Harry. Oh no, I'm not hungry. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> Give her one more look. I so worried them so much. Happened right mm. under their noses. It's hurting again, isn't it? Your scar. Mm. Mm hmm I'm fine. No, Harry, don't play it off. You have to tell us. You know Sirius will want to hear about this. Mm-hmm. What you saw at the World Cup and the dream. Yeah. And the dream. So so then you can explain it better for me too. Hagrid. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
It's okay, Hagrid. You did a great job. The home to some very special guests as well. So, Sports <laughs> has been chosen to host a legendary event, the Tri Wizard Tournament. The Tri Wizard Tournament brings together three schools for a series of magical contests. For winning. Will a single student is selected to compete? Harry. Chosen, you stand alone. Damn. Trust me when I say. Oh, that's what the Goblet of Fire is then. Okay, so that must be what the Goblet of Fire is then. This competition. You know, that's actually pretty cool how there's other schools and stuff. I had no idea. I thought it was Hogwarts is the only one in the world. You know, but no. Guess every country has one. That's pretty sick. Oh my god, why is she literally seven foot nine? Bro, sign her to the league. Dumbledore. <laughs> he's getting it. He's about to hit later. Nah, but Dumbledore's definitely gonna need some blue chew later to help him out, you know? I'm it's him. Crumb, the best seeker in the world. Albus. Albus. Damn, they go back. They drink only single malt whiskey. <laughs> Jesus, Hagrid. Ah. Idiot. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. But to do this, that student must survive three tasks. Mm. Extremely dangerous tasks. The aura. Aura. Dog was a catcher. Hmm. Shit. All right, he's like a bounty hunter then. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Look the right at Harry. Uh, my dear old friend, thanks for coming. Stupid ceiling. That's what he's drinking, do you suppose? I don't know, but I don't think it's pumpkin juice. Moonshine. Hundred percent moonshine. After due consideration, the ministry has concluded that for their own safety, seventeen mm. should be allowed to put forth their name for the Triwizard Tournament. Okay, well, I don't know exactly how old Harry, Hermione, and Ron are, so... SILENCE! <laughs> the Goblet of Fire! Yep. And throw it in the flame before this hour on Thursday night. Wait, so is Edward gonna be cool with us? I mean, he looked cool in the very beginning. I wonder what house he is. Okay, I'm getting, like, Hunger Games. And, like, Maze Runner vibes right now from this. It's not, it's not exactly the same concept, but, like... I'm getting those vibes. Alistair Moody. Oh, he's the new dark arts teacher. Okay, that's right. Teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm here because Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Goodbye, the end. <laughs> Alright, so is he about it or what? Like, is he gonna put in work for us or nah? Now the minister says you're too young to see what these curses do. I say different! <laughs> he's edgy. Which curse shall we see first? Weasley! Yes. <laughs> Oh, he's intense. I did tell me about one. Hmm. The Imperious Curse. Well, then your father would know all about that. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Bro, I don't think Hermione likes him very much. Because, like, when she was answering his questions, she seemed kind of pissed on, like, that stare right there, you know? He's just really intense. I've claimed that they only did you know who's bidding mm -hmm. under the influence of the Imperious Curse. Oh, okay. Stop it! <laughs> Can't you see it's bothering him? Stop it! Um... <clears throat> Awkward. Perhaps you could give us the last unforgivable curse, Miss Oh my god. Oh, I thought he did that to fucking Hermione for a second. I was like, what the fuck? I thought he was about to pump bigger with that, you know? Like, scare the shit out of her, <laughs> but no. Only one person is known to have survived it. And he's sitting in this room. Uh-huh, Harry. Bro, this fool's just getting drunk as hell on, on the job. He took a sip as he looked at Harry because he knows Harry has all that baggage. <laughs> bro, you good? Nah, bro, he's not good. Okay, I know those curses are gonna... Aww. I know those curses are gonna come in later. And I already know I'm not gonna remember the names. <laughs> mm, actually, he might get chosen because he's a new character. I don't know. That's so rude. Left my boy hanging. Sorry. It'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Three years from now, when we're old enough to be chosen. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. They're not even old enough. 
This is an age line. Dumbledore drew it himself. So? I'm trying to get past the age line. Dim-witted as an aging potion. Yeah, but that's why it's so mm. brilliant. Because it's so pathetically dim-witted. <laughs> we'll see. Bottoms up. Oh. Yes! It worked. Nah, there's another thing on it. Yes! Ah, oh, I guess it worked. Oh! Nope! Dumbledore knows. Oh, God. Uh, Hermione's so annoyed. Bro, he's literally Khabib in this universe. <laughs> Ooh, he looked right at Hermione. Not the moment you've all been waiting for. The champion selection. Who is it? It's probably gonna be Crumb. The Dubstep champion is Victor Crumb. <laughs> okay. Pretty predictable. Mm, I'm gonna say it's Edward. The champion for Bow Battens. Edward? The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory. Oh, let's fucking go. I mean, he's a new character, so it's like, yeah, it makes kind of obvious, I feel like. And same with Crumb, that's, how, that's literally why I guess them. This vessel of victory, the Triwizard Cup. I wonder how intense these games are. Like, are the other two just gonna die if they lose? Oh shit. Yeah, Snape noticed that. What the hell's going on? Watch, it's gonna spit out Harry's name or something. Like, obviously it looks like this shouldn't be happening. Harry Potter. Oh, but you already have you already have your three. You can't send four. Harry Potter! <laughs> Bro, he's not old enough, he didn't even enter, so it's like how how? I guess it's just fate. It's destiny. What, why is Ron looks envious? What the fuck? Because uh, Ron wanted to be Ron wanted to be the one to do it, you know? Like Ron looks like he took that really fucking personally. But Harry said they're th they're three years too young. So that means this fool's fucking fourteen right now. You're not even seventeen yet. Yeah. So who entered for him then? Like who put his name in there? Oh, uh, it's probably this fool who did it. I mean, that makes sense. Harry would go, you know? Because how are they going to name the movie The Goblet of Fire and not even have Harry do it? <laughs> you know? Like, how are you going to make it about this Goblet of Fire that, and then just sideline Harry the entire time? You know? Like, obviously they're not. Harry, did you put your name in The Goblet of Fire? No. No, you had an age line on it, though. How could I have? Only an exceptionally powerful confundus charm could have hoodwinked mm. it. Magic way beyond the talents of a fourth year. You seem to. Mm, don't embarrass me, Harry. Lupin taught him some shit. Read this to you, buddy. <gasps> Wait. I have a theory, guys. The Goblet of Fire oh. constitutes a binding magical contract. Mr. Potter has no choice. Ah, fuck. All right, cool. He is, as of tonight, a Tri Wizard champion. Okay. So going back to like the like two or three scenes ago, when we we're talking about those uh, curses. The curses that Voldemort uses to get people to do his bidding, right? I think somebody at Hogwarts is under that curse right now. And so they put Harry's name in the Goblet of Fire. So he'd be selected, right? And it's a way for Voldemort to pull up and try and kill him. That's what I think is going to happen. Don't let Potter compete. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. For the time being, let them unfold. <laughs> Yeah, Snape doesn't give a shit about Harry. No, he's trying- he's low-key trying to get him killed. Bro, rewind the tape. Check the tape. Who put his name in there? Just- I'm sure there's a way they, they can see, you know? Never mind. Does yeah, Ron's hell hurt. <laughs> Might have let your best friend know, though. Oh my god, I didn't fucking do it, Ron. This to happen, Ron. Okay? You're being stupid. Yeah. Ron Weasley, Harry Potter's stupid friend. Ron, get out of your goddamn feelings. I don't want eternal glory. I just want to be... Piss off. <laughs> Bro, Ron is so hurt, dog. Yeah, Ron seems hella insecure, dude. Like, he wants to be the one to do it. 
to get the attention of eternal glory and everything, you know. Speaking of your parents, were they alive? How do you think they'd feel? Proud oh or concerned? Concerned about their fucking son potentially dying. I'm assuming you die in this. Meet me in the Gryffindor common room at one o'clock this P.S. Ah! The bird bites. <laughs> Bro, I hope Lupin's here too. I miss him already. Did you or did you not put your name into the Goblet of Fire? No. no. And tell me about this dream of yours. You mentioned Wormtail and Vortabore, but who was the third man? He wanted me. I don't know why, but he was going to use why. his man to get to me. Yeah, he probably has a curse on that fool. The Death Eaters at the World Cup, your name rising from that goblet. These are not just coincidences. Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. Bro, well, it's never safe. It hasn't been safe this one fucking time. Inside the wall, Zeke or off. Mm. He was a Death Eater. And oh. no one, no one stops being a Death Eater. Heart of Stone sent his own son to Azkaban. Do you think one of them put my name in the goblet? Yes. Do you? People mm. die in this tournament. Someone's coming. Keep your friends close, Harry. Who are you talking to? Don't run. Don't worry about it. Maybe you're imagining things. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> uh, teenage tragedy. Dean was told by Pavati that Hagrid's looking for you. Is that right? Oh my god. Uh, um, Ron, stop being a wussy and just say it to him. Hagrid's looking for you. Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl! <laughs> Bro, I, dude, Ron is seriously so pissed. The flower. Hagrid, have you combed your hair? Oh, he's going, oh, he's going on a date. He's going to raise that one girl. The girl's like seven, nine, right? Something like that. Hagrid? <gasps> yep. I thought perhaps you had forgotten me. Never, my love. You a lamb. <laughs> what is it you want? He's about, he's about to raise her so hard right now. Glad you came. Trust me. Oh shit, what the hell is this? Bro, what kind of date is this, bro? What? Dragons! Yeah. That's the first task. Oh my god. Yeah, so they're prepping for the Goblet of Fire right here. They misunderstood creatures. Oh. Bro, is that Rhaegar? <laughs> Bring him over from Romania. Didn't Ron tell you that? No. No, he didn't. No. He didn't tell me a thing. Ron, Ron's being extremely passive aggressive. Potter, Potter stinks. <sighs> All right, so Edward's a huge douche. That's the first task. Yeah, we gotta work together. You're a right foul git. You know that. Mm-hmm. Whatever, whatever that means. Anything else? Yeah. Stay away from me. No. <laughs> Why so tense, Potter? <sighs> He thinks he won't last five. I don't give a damn what your father <laughs> thinks, Malfoy. Yeah, tell him. And you're pathetic. Yes. Pathetic. Oh, no, what, are you, what are you gonna do, buddy? <gasps> oh! I take you to someone on Good. The Good, don't turn him back. Keep him like that forever. Bro, Professor Moody has Peter's back, dog. Jeff, is that a student? No, don't worry about it. <laughs> Not anymore. Aw, <laughs> oh, why'd you do that? Oh, my father will hear about this. Dude, I don't give a damn. I'll do it to him, too. That's right. <laughs> I can tell you stories about your father that would curl even your greasy <laughs> Oh, my God. I love him. I use transfiguration as a punishment. Surely Dumbledore told you that. Might have mentioned it. My bad. My bad, Queen. You. Come with me. All right. He's about to teach... Uh, Harry's so much shit, dude. He's about, to, he's about to prep him for the goblet. I already know it, dude. <laughs> he's an edgy teacher. He'll teach him He'll teach him all of the dark spells. All the shit he should never know or whatever. That's a full glass. Let's me keep an eye on my enemies and see the whites of their eyes. They're standing right behind me. Damn. <laughs> bother telling you what's in there. You wouldn't believe it if I did. All right. What are you going to do about your dragon? Got a bottle of cadaver. It. Sit. Yeah, we're about to come. We're about to devise a game plan right here. By your age, he could turn a whistle into a watch, and 
have it sing you the time. <laughs> Miss Delacour. So you're saying they're better than me? I don't know. Mm. Well, I can fly. I mean, I'm a fair flyer, but I... Fair the way I heard it. But I'm not allowed a broom. A wand. Hmm. All right, here we go. Is that Hermione? <gasps> oh, bestie. How are you feeling? Okay? Oh, Hermione's always there for Harry. Love to see it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No! Bro, mind your goddamn beeswax. Dude, she's just like Gail Weathers. It pisses me off. You two may even make the front page. You have no business here. Yeah, tell her, Crom. It's for champions and friends. No matter. We've uh, got what we wanted. Ew, don't fucking touch me with that. Has arrived a moment only four of you can fully appreciate. What are you doing here, Miss Granger? <laughs> I love how Hermione hugged Harry, because that could be her last time ever hugging him, you know? She had to give him one big hug. One last big hug, you know? They definitely have a thing going. The web oh. screen. The Hungarian horn tail. Of which has been given a golden egg to protect. Your mm. objective is simple. To Diggory, the sound of the cannon you <laughs> Alright, go, 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 go. That was premature as fuck, but go, go, go. Harry's the last one. Dude, that'd be so nerve-wracking just sitting there, waiting for your turn. Oh my god. Because have now faced their dragons. And so each one of them will proceed to the next task. Oh, okay, they all did it. Now our fourth and final contestant. Fuck, dude, that's so much pressure. Because, like, the three before you did it, it's like, fuck, now I have to do it. Like, the pressure's on right now, dog. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let me just go and get it. Oh. Oh. Full looks like Rasputin. Yeah, Harry, use your. Use your goddamn wand, bro. You're strapped for a reason. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got the broom. Bro, Harry's juking this dragon. Harry's oh, Harry's breaking this dragon's ankles, getting around him and getting that goddamn egg. This is especially what Harry's good at. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. What if the dragon starts like hurting the crowd? You know, and, like this could be a problem. <laughs> Bro, what if it takes out a tower in Hogwarts? Get the broom, just get the broom and jump off. Uh bro, this kind of sucks for the audience because none of them can see this right now. Because <laughs> they're not in the arena anymore. Uh. Oh shit, that dragon. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Now while the dragon's recovering, go down and swoop the egg. He did it. Oh, he hasn't done it yet, technically. He hasn't officially done it yet. There we go. He did it. It wasn't pretty, but he fucking did it. Harry's the goat. Okay, now I want to know like who did it the best. I feel like that's really important. I feel like Crum just did it in like a minute. Do you want me to open it? Yeah! Oh shit. Ah. How was that a clue, dog? Bloody hell was that? Why do you care, Ron? This is gonna be uncomfortable enough that all you know is suds this thing in. What well, do you better say you're sorry? Cause you know I'm him. To be barking mad to put your own name in the goblet of fire. Mm-hmm. Oh, you finally you finally realize that. Do you long enough? Yeah. I'm sorry to bind your back. Yeah, I don't doubt that. At least I warned you about the dragons. Hagrid warned me about the dragons. Yeah, well. No, you didn't. You told me to go talk to Hagrid, dog. The Seamus told me the Bavati told Ding that Hagrid was looking for you. Yeah, that's not exactly telling me anything about dragons. I really think so. It was, it was really me all along. Bro, stop trying to take credit for everything. For other people's shit. I suppose I was a bit distraught. Mm -hmm. Oh, a bit? Yeah. 
Hi, Harry. <laughs> He's a celebrity now. He's got everyone's attention. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the girl from the train. <laughs> Smooth. Miss Granger. Every girl wants Harry now, but the only girl Harry wants is sitting right across from him. I, I told him I'd get him Harry's autograph. <laughs> It's hard being friends with, with a celebrity. They're for you. <laughs> mm. Dress robes. Mm. Dress robes? For what? The Yule <laughs> Ball has been a tradition. Um, it's a dance or some shit? Is first and foremost a dance. Yep. 